Hello, and thank you for tuning in. My name is Lewis Tadman. I'm with BNB Technologies, and today we're going to talk a little bit about QC Sense reporting. I'm going to show you some of the awesome custom reports that we can create for you to help enable the data that QC Sense reporting gathers for you. QC Sense reporting is a built in performance monitoring utility that will help you analyze your HP application lifecycle management server and database from a user's perspective from client operations, server operations, and help you really break down the platform performance of your ALM application. So what we're doing here is we're in site administration, we're logged in, I went to the tools menu, QC Sense, and then went to the configuration option here, and that pulls up this window right here, and we can see some of the default reports that we have enabled. After going to the menu and opening it up, we can see that we have our global settings, our reports are on and configured. We have client operations, client method calls, client requests, server general statistics, thread types, server threads, and server SQL queries that are being run. And you can adjust these and add filters. We're not going to really deep dive into the QC Sense functionality or generating the ports in here. What we wanted to do is show you how we can enable you to take the client data operations that have been generated and by default it's the login operations, creating entity operations, paste operations, and all operations which exceed these time thresholds. You can configure this to look at certain client machines and certain user profiles if you'd like. From there what you do is you then generate the QC Sense report and you have to enable a site administration parameter to do that. And We're generating the user operations report. Um, for the sake of time I've already generated one of these reports and saved it to the desktop and what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this user operations report. When you've generated this report, we've exported all columns in the default format. Uh, you can see client machines, what the operation was. If we look at the type of operation, we could see that it was a checkout and what we actually did was click a button for check that out or navigate a menu item. And so what we want to do is take a look at a custom report that we've created at BNB. As you can see right here, there's no second sheet we have some macros that have been added in here and some very cool analytics that will be performed we see we can analyze the total server time, database operation time, client time, network time and the total time that these operations took what we want to do is we want to click this get sheet button we'll go to the desktop and select our user operations that we just looked at and once we click open you'll see there's a sheet that's been created with all the data that we just looked at and then all we have to do right here is click this process data button and it will loop through and it will concatenate the operation type with the actual operation so main test plan menu item clicked client machine that performed the operation we see the total server time the total database time the total client time network time and the total time for these operations and over here we have a handy report that will show us the total time that all these operations that have been analyzed took to perform thus helping us pinpoint any performance bottlenecks that we may have in our system. So that was just a quick snapshot of QC Sense reporting and how we can help you enable these tools. So thank you for tuning in and we appreciate it. As always, if you need any more info from us, uh, send us a message at info at bnb.com. Check us out at bnb.com and we would love to help you guys out. Thank you very much.